exciting and interesting. <laughs> so there would be, a, there'd be a voiceover. It would be like Tony's mouth moving. You know, say, and I find it very exciting and very good. <laughs> yeah. It those takes a lot of his mouth too. Yeah, yeah, yeah just blur it. Um, uh, we got the technology. We can, we can do it. We can make it. Uh, <laughs> it's it's not We can do the well. We can do the force gun thing. Okay, so Second Life. Yeah, so Second Life is actually, it's, it's a really interesting space, but for me, I don't, like, it's boring to, for me to actually occupy, right? The interaction right now is not something that I find too meaningful, and so while I'm standing around not doing anything, I'm trying to figure out how to have fun. <laughs> because that's what I, that's part of the fun of it is, is having, trying to figure out how to have fun in a space that's inherently not super fun. It's more about chatting and, you know, so, so you know, I saw Russell was his penguin self standing there, kind of slumped over, and I went up and bumped him, and he slid a little bit, and I was like, huh. So then I just start while he's busy doing something in the real world, I decided to push him off the ledge, um, and he falls through this big hole, and I do the same thing to Dean, and I do the same thing, you know, to to basically anyone I get my hands on who I knew who it was, and and I actually got kicked off the island because I was a rabble rouser and causing all sorts of problems. And but it kicked you off the island. Dean uh, did. Yeah. We'll did go he know me. it was you? Yeah, he it's, knew it was me, okay. and what he well, didn't know I, was one of the people that I shoved off was one of my students. He thought it was just a random guest, and so he well, thought I was being... the student complained, because he didn't know it was you. <laughs> so the student was like, who is that little girl who is terrorizing me? Because <laughs> he wanted to be a little girl, yeah. and uh, pretty little girl. Yeah. So anyway, um, yeah, like yeah, so Dean, Dean I M'd me and said, ban him now. <laughs> So um, yeah, you gotta do problems. what the ball says. <laughs> yep. So I mean, but but it, that's an example of emergent gameplay in a sense. You know, you you get bored. Like there's only so many times you can play scripted events in a game. You just you just get sort of there's only so many times you can shoot the same guy, rescue the hostages, blow up the building. So eventually you stop and you're like, okay, well what else can I do? How else can I blow up this building? How else can I rescue the hostages? And sometimes it's climbing up the building. Sometimes it's riding the the van that's carrying the hostages, you just never know. So Or shooting the hostages. Or shooting the, one of the hostages so that all the bank robbers go crazy. And yeah. It just it just you never know. So you can build all that you can you can represent some of that in a weekend? Yeah. And Absolutely. I think it's doable. It's impressive. Yeah. And so you know, another episode will be coming back and showing some of it. Yeah, absolutely. And hopefully we'll you know um, we'll actually be able to get a working version running at the end of the weekend, which we were Pretty close to the last time, but um, this time I, I have no. Every, I have every confidence that we'll be able to do it. So we'll actually be able to host the server, um, and you know, people can come in and jump in. So and, if you've got the 24-hour video, right? Mm -hmm. Which I think you guys have won. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. Have a 24-hour. There it is, right here. Trophy right back there. That's all you get. Uh, you well, I got like 175 dollars too, but but other than that, yeah, just the trophy. Okay, but is that is is. This obviously would be more difficult than 24 hours. You're doing well. It, yeah, I mean, you can't two find hours. anything. I mean, it's not like in, when you film video. I mean, you can go outside. I need a building, and you walk outside, and there's a building. And there's a building. But with the games, though, you can't really do that per se. I mean, everything has to be created. Yeah, the, the, the problem with well, the thing that's against you in the 24-hour video race is time. Yeah. Everything else, now, like if you don't know how to shoot, edit, and film, uh, you know, you probably shouldn't be doing the 24-hour video race. Yeah. But with the game dev weekend from like last time participation, there's going to be tutorials so people who don't know how to do it can actually learn. And that's also true. Yeah. And um, and but the thing that's against us in the game dev is like our own limitations of, of the stuff which we usually get past and proceed and prevail. And well, I think you, you still have that time crunch too. I mean, you want to finish the game in 72 hours. It's just a longer time period because there's a lot more to do. And and that's why we have such a large group involved. Because you know we've got modelers, texture artists, animators, you know concept artists, writers, uh, sound guys. I mean, you got the whole uh, the whole gamut of everyone like having to participate in order to get this done. And whereas with Twin Front Video, you can do it with you know a one man group if you want. Right. So I mean, it, it's it, there's a lot more involved because there's just not you're not given anything per se asset wise. Crystal says you have to build it from scratch pretty yeah. much. Yeah, basically. That can also be an advantage though because you get some really imaginative people. Mm -hmm. They can just sit down and they can make something uh, comparable to the Sistine Chapel if you give them enough time. Yeah. Or if they go in, you know, knowing what they want to do ahead of time. I mean, that's actually one of the major advantages I would say. Is it's, but simultaneously, is you, you 
Bose say, it's, it is a disadvantage. You have to make it, but you can make whatever you want. And I think that's one of the really cool things about it. We should have the Pixel Pusher Stride for the 16. You're not going to give that up, are you? No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know. Every use that Because I, uh, I, I did the I did UV picture for some, you know, mm -hmm. some of the stuff. Why do we need that? Well, they went big machine. Whatever it was called. See, Snow but well. you're going for a doctorate degree, so you're beyond the pixels now. Hopefully you'll be in there doing some He's moved on to Vector. I'm Bezier Curves now. <laughs> All right, well, is there anything else about the weekend that, that we need to know? We're going to uh, reassemble everybody to talk about gaming, I think, more in depth, because it's such a big subject, and it's something that, of interest to a lot of us. Absolutely. It's central to what we do here with ATEC. Dallas, and I think that you know, the world. Yeah. Well, let's start here. <laughs> you know, I guess you know Dean wants to start streaming some of this stuff into Second Life, right? So we know. can, we yeah, we can stream the weekend into Second Life. It's no problem. And for everybody who doesn't know, it's uh, no what, is the, what is the no? Oh yeah, we don't want to <laughs> and no yeah, smell and, and, and no showing what movies we're watching because yeah. there were some uh, interesting angle. situations there. <laughs> Uh, what is the, the UT World uh, website again? I forget. It'll be a fun <laughs> <video> link. <laughs> it's changed. So. Oh, yeah. It's like world. What? I don't know. It's world world's lab. dot. World's lab. World dot UT Dallas. UT Dallas. Or edu. Yeah. Anyway, it'll be on there somewhere. Yeah. We'll have a link. All right. So, does anybody else want to add anything to our discussion? To our long discussion. Yeah, that was going to take us ten minutes. So we realize this is rough, and it's it's fun to actually sit and have conversations rather than trying to script stuff. And I like this. Mm -hmm. And we will eventually get to do a lot more. Like I say, we'll talk about gaming. We're going to talk about uh, almost every aspect. We'll have Frank in with sound. We've got Second Life coming up. Um, you got a exhibit, I guess, or an opening at the end of March. Yes, Second Life. The uh, the uh, A Tech Island is having their grand opening at the end of March. Okay. So stay tuned. We will have that episode, and you'll have to prepare some materials. We'll do it virtually. We'll, we'll have it sitting there, and then we'll have and Tony. And Steve, you're involved in that too, we'll aren't you? We'll have Tony yeah. flying around. Yeah, yeah pushing people around. Yeah, Steve uh, <laughs> is like the lead programmer for the group. Um, so we'll have a whole Second Life conversation as well, and that's these two things, and then Somebody showcase. Else? Yeah, the yeah. Show, when's the actual showcase? April 12th. Wow, so everything's kind of falling all together. Okay, the showcase is the semester-based, you know, every semester the students' work is highlighted. It's highlighted from the work that they did the previous semester. Yes. The students submit their work for the showcase to be considered. It's judged by a jury, and it includes, you know, video, animation, Games, gaming, online, podcast, online world, any other plot. That stuff is still everything, sort of new. Everything we do here is going to be it, there. It, it, somewhat have a representation. So. Okay. And so I think this year, we'll, uh, if we can, we'll take what the DVDs and whatnot and maybe splice them up a little bit and put them up on the site so people can see what's going on. So I think okay. Kyle will be filming it. Kyle right now is, Kyle, come out from behind the camera. But if you can't chip over the tripod. He's a little guy. Yeah, come on. This is this is will be our ending. And, and let's mention Tony. Uh, we'll Tony's be, down here on the floor. So. This is Kyle, right there. Everybody gets to know Kyle. He's going to be our uh, cameraman, video host, expert. Yeah, if you thought you saw enough of me in, like around campus, now you're going to see me online too. How long have you been here at UTD? Uh, let's see, 2000, so seven, almost eight, eight years. years. <laughs> <laughs> You've been here almost eight years. It took me a while to get my undergrad. <laughs> So how many undergrads did you go through? One. <laughs> well, here, you found oh, four you got years. One. No, actually, what well, was the point? I didn't even get my associate. I spent four years at Brookhaven and transferred right into UTD. So you've been a college student for the last 12 years. So you're in the... Counting 13 now, if you want. You're in one of the professional yeah, college careers that we've been able to drive. So. Damn, teaching so he was going somewhere. UTD, he wants to be hired here. So. <laughs> That's right. So he could stay another... 20, 30 years. Yeah, the world of pain, That's right. That's right. You're a UT babe. Well, 
well, as a friend of mine, Tony's once 